Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D shiny logo animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. You can use this technique for any kind of logo. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and in order to create this animation, we are going to use the latest version. So this is the version 2025 and in case you are using the older versions, then you can still follow along, but you won't be able to get those really nice lighting because those are available only in the latest version. So after that, I have imported a couple of these images. So these are just some normal images of these gradient patterns. So you can go to unsplash.com and search for gradient or any chrome image and you can download them from here now along with these you also need your logo which should be in the illustrator format so this is the .ai file so i'm going to use this logo so you can just import them by simply selecting them and just import them in after effects and after that make sure that this is set to composition and this footage dimension is set to layer size then click on ok now here we have this composition if i open this up we have our logo now we can convert this layer into the shape layer by simply right clicking Go to create and create shape from vector now we can delete this file now we are ready to create for more composition so let's go to com new com and let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick whatever you want now under the 3d rendering engine you can select the advanced 3d option in case you are using the older versions then you won't have this you can use cinema 4d as well but you won't be able to get those really nice lightning as well so just select this and then click on ok now inside this composition first let's import our logo so just go to the logo just copy this shape layer and just paste it over here now let's align it in the center by using the align panel in case you are not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now we have our logo and if i open this up you can see under the content we have these two groups so group one is basically this f which is in the middle and this group two is the background which is this circle now we need all of these groups into individual layers so for that we can select this and let's press ctrl d because we have two groups and let's open this up inside this we can delete the group 2 and inside this we can delete group 1 so now we have individual group elements on individual layers now we want to make them 3d by simply clicking on these two icons and after that we can select them and let's search for extrude and under this we can change the depth to let's say 80 and let's change this to 80 as well now we are not able to see any depth because we don't have any camera so let's create a new camera and i'm going to use this 36 mm just click on ok now let's select the move around tool and just click and move around you can see now we are able to see the depth now if you think that this is too low then you can increase this as well so let's just set this to 100 i think this looks good and let's set this to 100 as well now you will notice one more thing this f is not looking extruded because its depth is literally inside this and for that what we can do is we can increase its value so let's just set this to 120 or 130 maybe now you can see it will be visible from the back side but we want it to be visible from the front as well so for that we can just extrude it or just move it like a little bit ahead so now you can see we have this 3d logo but we have to fill it from behind as well so i'm going to just increase it a little bit so that it is out from the back as well there you go and let's just make them like a little bit even perfect so now we have our 3d logo so before we proceed if you guys enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue and after this we are ready to add some really nice lighting to this so first let's delete this because we are not going to use this camera and let's quickly select this top layer and let's just parent it to the bottom one so that we can select this and if i press r now if i rotate this you can see now our f is also moving with this and let's just make its anchor point in the center so for that let's go under the active camera and let's just set this to top you will notice the anchor point is in the top and if i rotate it you can see it is moving from this point but we actually want it to rotate from the center so for that let's select the move anchor tool and let's just move it like a little bit somewhere in the middle now if i rotate it now you can see it is rotating from the center which is exactly what we want now we can go back to the active camera and we are ready to add some really nice lighting to our scene and first let's add a camera again so let's add a camera and i'm going to leave all of these settings to the same now let's add some really nice lighting for that we can right click new let's add a light and under this make sure you have selected the environment light and the intensity is set to 50 cast shadow is on shadow darkness is 100 just click on ok now in order to make this like affect our scene what we can 
do is we can use any of these images. So if I drag it over here, you can see we are able to see our background, which is quite big. So we can scale it down and we actually don't have to see this. So all we have to do is just go under the light option and under the source, let's select the image, which we just imported. And if I click on that, now right away, you can see the background is gone, but the image is being used as a light source. So for that, let's select this and we can increase the intensity and let's just increase it a little bit around this. Now, if I press R, if I rotate it, you can see we are able to see some really nice lighting. Perfect. But still it is not looking metallic because we have to play around with the materials of these layers. So for that, let's select any of these layers and let's go under the material option. And under this first, I'm going to increase the specular shininess and we can set this value to let's say 80. So this will basically make it like very metallic and under the material, we can like lower it down a little bit somewhere around here. If you want, you can like make it more shiny by simply increasing this value. Now we are going to do the same thing for this as well. So let's select this and let's open it up under the material. I'm going to set the specular shininess to 88 and this we can like let drop a little bit. So let's just set this to 72. Now we have made it metallic. And if I select our environment light, we can press R to rotate it. Now you can see we are able to see some really nice shining surfaces. And let's just quickly do one more thing. Let's select this, press S and we can scale this up. Let's press R. Now if I rotate it, you can see we are able to see these really nice shiny edges. Now in order to enhance this more, what we can do is we can select both of these layers and let's search for bevel and under this we are going to set this to angular you can select concave convex as well depending upon what kind of look you are going for i'm going to set this to angular and also i'm going to set the bevel depth to let's say five and this will basically add some really nice edges around this there you go now we can play around with the lighting as well so if i rotate it now you can see we are able to see some really nice reflections and everything play around with the x value or the z value as well now sometimes your scene will become like really slow so for that you can go under this advanced rendering option and from here you can lower down the rendering quality just to see the preview and after that you can crank it up but for now i'm going to like leave it to let's say to this value and also make sure that this is set to fit to scene in case you're not able to see some really nice shadow just make sure that this is set to fit to scene then click on ok if your scene is like really slow then you can click on this draft 3d button now what it will do is it will give you like this low resolution render which you can like easily animate and just change its value however you want so let's quickly animate it so first let's just set all of these values to zero this to zero as well now we can add keyframes to these and let's move like a little bit ahead now i'm going to like rotate it and let's just rotate it to this angle let's move a little bit ahead and we can like rotate it in full rotation and then just simply move it to the top let's rotate it over here as well and let's just add a keyframe and set this value to zero now you can keep on doing this thing over here we can like make it to this angle bring it like this now we can select these keyframes press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph editor and i'm going to just change the graph to look like this so we want it to start little slow and then have this slope in the middle and once we're done with this, we can play around with the lighting and let's press AA and we can increase the intensity a little bit. And if I press play, you can see we have this very nice logo with some really nice shininess. We can select all of these, hold on the Alt key and let's just add a little bit of spacing between them. Now to check the full quality, you can just click on this draft 3D. So it will take you into the full preview mode, which will be a little bit slower, but you will get some really nice reflections over here as well. And the best thing is that you can use any kind of light or logo. So for example, if I import this and let's go under the environment light under the source, we can select the light, which we just imported and right away, you can see our whole scene will change. And now you can see our reflections has changed and we are getting lighting information from this new image in the same way. You can play around with different kind of images to see what looks good. And for this example, I think this one was going because we already have this blue logo. If you think that this is too much, then you can press AA and let's just lower down the intensity like that. At last, you can add some really nice backgrounds. So I click new, let's add a solid and let's just click on OK. Let's drop it at the very bottom. Let's search for four color gradient. 
let's drag it onto this background and we are going to pick all of these colors from the logo itself so let's add this really light color and let's add this dark one let's add this blue as well and let's just add this one there you go now we have added some really nice color to the background and you can play around with their positions of these gradients so let's make this one little bright over here and let's just place these dark colors to this side now we have this very nice background and we have our logo over here as well if you want to animate the light source then you can add keyframes for this so let's press r let's add keyframe to both of these and let's just go to somewhere around here and after that you can play around with the angle of light so for example now we have this really nice animated light source so now if i press play you can see we have this very nice 3d shiny logo and with all of these nice colors and 3d depth so this is how you can create these kind of 3d logo animations using after effects only now the best thing is that you can easily use any logo all you have to do is just import your illustrator file and then convert them into this shape layer then add some depth and play around with the material values now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one